Hey, what's up guys? This is Dom from MacMixing.com and I'm going to show you how to set up your new iPad. Uh, for those of you that are new uh, to iPad and you've never had one before and you just got the new iPad and you want to know how to set it up, uh, here's your quick little guide and it's pretty simple. So uh, once you've turned it on and you are at this screen right here, you just want to slide this to configure and you're going to see all these languages floating across. Uh, you can choose between languages and you can uh, actually pull out that whole list. There's a huge list of languages here, as you can see. So once we've chose our language here, we're gonna choose a region, and I'm gonna go ahead and pick the United States, because that is a re region I am located in. Click Next, and Enable Location Services. Uh, this is really up to your preference, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it. This will allow you to access uh, map location and whatnot, and, and things around you when you're searching the web or using apps. And it's also required by uh, some apps to access your camera roll for whatever reason. Let's click Next. Wi-Fi networks. Um, I'm going to go ahead and connect to Dom E right here. All right, so there we go. We're now connected to Wi-Fi here. Click Next. And it's activating the iPad. So it's going to take a little bit. And we're going to set it up as a new iPad here. So we're going to go ahead and set it up as a new iPad. And click Next at the top. And then we can sign in with our Apple ID. So I'm going to go ahead and do that here real quick. And once we've signed in, we're given the options to accept the terms of service. And you can read through all these if you want. And from there, we have to click Agree once more. It's going to take a few minutes to set up the Apple ID, like it says. And you can choose whether or not to use iCloud. I'm going to go ahead and use iCloud because I normally do. Press Next. And we are going to click back up to my computer. You don't have to. You can choose to back up to iCloud if you want. But I already have my phone backing up to iCloud. And so that may use up all the space. And I don't want to deal with that. Click Next. We can use Find My iPad. You can turn that on. That will allow you to locate your iPad. If you ever leave it somewhere and it's still connected to Wi-Fi, it will it'll show you where it's at on, a, on an actual map. So it's pretty cool. Go ahead and enable that if you'd like. And Dictation button, definitely going to use that. That's if you want to press this little key on the keyboard and be able to speak what you want to type. It's up to you. I'm going to use Dictation. And Diagnostics. Uh, now this really doesn't matter. It, it helps Apple improve the products and stuff by sending like crash reports and whatnot if something ever goes wrong with an app or whatever. Um, that's really up to you again. Like I said, register with Apple. Yes, we're going to register with Apple. And now we can start using iPad. And there we go. That's it. That's the setup process. It's pretty easy here. So that's it, you guys. Here's the new iPad. You're in the interface. You can scroll around. It's very fast. It's very smooth. Thank you guys for watching very much. Uh, please click this button and subscribe. And our Twitter link is here. Our Facebook link is here. Thanks again, guys. This is Dom from MacMixing.com, and have a great day.